Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the vlog. Today, we're back on the cannon. It's been a while since I've shot anything on the cannon, and there's a reason why I'm doing that. Yeah, got another project coming up, haven't we? So normally, I've got an S10, Galaxy S10. I normally shoot on that because it's quite a capable camera. In fact, it's probably better than the Canon in many ways. But it's very awkward to lock it off all the time, as this camera's locked off now, to get some shots. Mainly because I have to take it out of a protective case and put it into a uh, one of these. We've got a DJI gimbal and, uh, you know, it leaves the phone relatively vulnerable, so I don't like using it unless it's for special occasions, such as building something. But most of the time, you know what I work like, um, completely ad hoc with my ideas. So if I think I'm going to do something today, I just tend to get on and do it, and pulling the camera out of my pocket is the last thing on my mind often when I'm rushing to get a job done. I don't know why I put myself under this pressure, but I just like getting jobs finished in a day. But this job won't be finished in a day, so I thought let's revert back to the cannon and we can lock the camera off and we can get some better still shots and some action shots instead of just waffle from me behind the camera. I thought someone was through the door then. So that's the plan, we're locked off. So let's go over here and I'll show you what the plan is. Right, this space behind me, at the bottom of the stairs, for now, uh, is dead space. And at the moment I've got this table with all these stainless steel fittings on it. And I've just put it there to see how it looks, and it fits quite well. So, I've got to give her a clean down, because it's covered in dust from the work that we've been doing recently. And we've got to take all these fittings off. They can live in the kitchen area. They should have their own place anyway. Mainly on a tank. There's pigeons on the roof, is what I can hear. It's distracting me. I apologise. But if you caught my video last night, or at least the end of it, yesterday, uh, vlog 715 or something like that, then I talked about pulling the pilot kit out again in order to experiment with some fruit sour beers, which is what I'd like to get into. And maybe have a play around with these milkshake IPAs. They're not really my bag, um, but it's definitely another string to the bow if, if I can figure it out. So I need somewhere to ferment these beers, and putting them in those white plastic fermenters that we had for the pilot kit previously, just don't do it justice. So I've ordered myself a couple of 60 litre Kegland all-rounders from the malt miller. They should be arriving at some point next week. And I've measured them out for 350 mil wide by 800 to 900, depending on how you orientate the stand high. And they'll sit nicely just there. And then underneath I can put an under-counter chiller and we can hook it up so it's got glycol cooling. and. It's also a mobile unit if I need to move it out the way to do something else. I think that's the best solution. We were going to house it in the kitchen, but it'll be in the way of the cupboard doors and thing. So today I'm going to clean this lot down, but we need to make some space and get rid of certain things in the building that aren't necessarily needed. That being one of them. So the slip rollers we don't use very often. And I've modified them now, so we can kind of get the fork truck or the pump truck underneath and lift it and move them around before we have to drag it around the joint. So the plan is we're going to pull all the we're going to pull all the pallets out of that corner in the grain store, and we're going to put that at the back, so it's out the way, and then that'll free that space up and give us a bit more room in here as well while we dick around with the pilot kit and everything like that. And then next week, sorry for the long ramble here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm gonna be brewing some of our core range beers as per usual into these tanks behind us. 
and then the following week we should have everything on site to have a play with the pilot kit and everything else uh, for a raspberry sour is what I'm going to go for so we'll see how that pans out we also have 2,000 cans that need to be labelled in the meantime we might be able to do that during the brew day next week uh, so today's job, oh and I also want to build a, a trolley for the CRP pump so we've got a mobile pump trolley might do that today, might not have time, we'll see so grain out, grain store slip rollers, back of grain store grain back in grain store grain out for recipes next week, all has to be weighed out clean down table for all rounder fermenters install under counter chiller with temp control for two fermenters probably only need the one but I've ordered two so I can transfer from one to the other so we'll just set it up with the one initially pull out pilot kit fit all ancillary parts clean down that can be done next week though but I'd like to pull it out and put it together and uh, yeah just general tidy up and get geared up for brewing again because that's what I want to focus on a little bit drop all of the maintenance jobs apart from finishing the tanning at the front of the pub and a little bit of trim and some flashing on the sign there ain't a lot I have to do in there to be fair uh, until the chefs come back and we open the kitchen again but still even then there's very little I need to do I need to be in here concentrating on making some of the best beer in North Nottinghamshire for our lovely little pub and that's what I'm going to be doing more focus on the booze less focus on the welding but there will still be welding moving the uh, couple of pallets then I noticed I changed these wheels the other day and what was happening is they were moving side to side look I didn't think it'd be too much of a problem but the back of the polyurethane is rubbing on the edge causing a bit of friction so with the old wheels they were smaller on the internal diameter and they had these spaces in there so what I'm going to do is cut these spaces down like this because there's a different diameter there for the wheels and pop these spaces back in before I try to lift anything as heavy as that so I need to just knock some split pins out put four or five washers in and put the split pins back in not a big job I'm halfway through it already before I pick the camera up so uh, just an extra half an hour kind of delay on getting this job done the moving of the stuff job I mean but these things you know I'm glad I caught it now while I've got all the tools out and all the pieces from the old wheels just to make sure that they run perfectly smooth <laughs>
I suppose I'd better finish this vlog off now. There we go. We've got the pump trolley. As you can see, it's already been in use. So I actually went and had a few beers in the beer garden last night. And uh, we're now on Saturday day. And uh, I'm meeting a few people for drinks, so I won't be making a vlog today. Uh, but this is just to finish off Fridays, I guess. So, there we go. Managed to make the pump stand. Gemma's cleaned out these tanks for me. Uh, but we didn't manage to get the pilot kit pulled out. And I'm in this morning uh, because I'm waiting on a delivery from the malt miller because they're going to be dropping off the fermenters. I think we're going to stick it here. What do you reckon? I think it'll work there, won't it? So yeah, that's the plan. So we'll catch up with you next week, boys and girls. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.